I'm James Brown alongside my NFL Today crew, Dan Marino, Coach Bill Cower, Shannon Sharp, and Boomer Esiason as we welcome you to the NFL Today CBSSports.com postgame show. The guys will talk about what impressed them most about the early games. Coach Cower is always talking about validation, right? Validate validation. this, validate that. This Sunday's a validation day for this team and that team. Houston didn't validate today, but I'll tell you a team that did, the Cincinnati Bengals. I am now firmly on the bandwagon. They are... Uh, swept the Baltimore Ravens uh, two games this year. They held the Ravens 215 yards of total offense, sacked Joe Flacco four times, forced two interceptions, and didn't score a point in the second half and still won convincingly. So to me, that tells me that we might have a playoff team we. brewing. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <laughs> I told you I was on the bandwagon. We might have Man, a playoff team brewing. We. In the Charm City, baby, Cincinnati. There you go. Take it. Shannon said we. We just started taking French. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't go to Cincinnati interview him. You wouldn't, you wouldn't talk about them today. You picked Baltimore. <laughs> now, we, oh, yeah, we got a good team going here, JP. <laughs> All right, so what do you got now? What do you got for me? You know, I'm looking at Arizona I, because I, I really don't know which team's going to show up. They're as talented as anybody in the National Football League offensively. Kurt Warner throws five touchdowns after he threw six interceptions last week. Defensively, they can get after the quarterback. This is a team. Because you know what they do? They get hot just at the right time like they did last year, and they run right through the NFC. You better watch out for the Arizona Cardinals. But with Kurt Warner and Larry Fitzgerald, and if they can get Anquan Bowden healthy for a substantial period of time, this is a team that Green Bay, Philly, you need to worry about. And you know, I, I got to talk about the Indianapolis Colts because, you know, here's an Indianapolis Colts team. They're 8-0, granted, yes. and they've done what they've had to do. But Peyton Manning's thrown the ball 51 times today. They got a defense that's decimated in the secondary, and yet it comes down to a missed field goal from 42 yards out. I think there's got to be a little bit of concern right now with going down the stretch. Can they continue to do that with him throwing that much? And the other quarterback I'm just going to mention is Aaron Rodgers. And, boom, you said this. Kudos to you. You didn't put him in the top ten. You talked about sacks. He has 37 sacks after eight games. That is on a record pace right now. He's got to get rid of the ball sooner. And the Green Bay Packers, who lost to Tampa Bay, I mean, right now, a lot of that's got to go on the shoulders stars. of Aaron Rodgers. That's mm -hmm. a lot of sacks. A, a lot. lot of sacks. That's a lot of sacks. More than you got sacked in your whole career. You, you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about Tampa Bay and congratulating them on their first win. I know they've struggled all year, but Josh Friedman, the young quarterback, a rookie, to go in there and play the way he did. He had three touchdown passes, and as the game went on, he got comfortable. He made plays in the second half that a lot of young quarterbacks in the league don't make. He made him. I think there may be a future for them. him there. I know it's only one game, but he looked pretty comfortable back there. So Boomer shows how insightful he is in making some very sage comments about Aaron Rodgers and being sacked. But the question is, Will Cincinnati hold a spot on the bandwagon for nope. Boomer? Well, you, know you don't think I mean, so? I, I he, say, jumped he, he jumped on. He jumped off the Denver <laughs> one today. Because well, we do know that he did pick the Pittsburgh Steelers well, for tomorrow night's all, game. In the show, the show earlier today, I right. talked about how Cincinnati got to right. watch out from the whole thing. Right. And Boomer just jumps right back on. <laughs> oh, Baltimore. Takes oh, all Baltimore the credit. When I was given all that good information, he takes all well, the credit. Well, you convinced me, Dan. What can I tell you? <laughs> That's the kind of love we display here on this show. Thanks for joining us on the NFL Today. CBS Sports. Dot com post game show. <laughs> <laughs>